Hello everyone, I am Miss Anna and this is our English lesson. We continue learning and practicing school vocabulary and grammar. Today's lesson will help you master your speaking skills. Are you ready? Let's start! The first things we are going to focus on today are some useful phrases. You'll come across them in our today's lesson, so you'll have an opportunity to check your attention and expand your vocabulary. So, here comes the first expression. If we say, it goes without saying, that means that something is clear without words. There is no need to explain it. We usually use this phrase to talk about something obvious or that most people should know. For example, it goes without saying that you need to know chemistry and biology well to study medicine and become a doctor. Another phrase is little by little, which also means step by step or to progress gradually and carefully from one stage to the next. Let's check an example sentence. When I changed school, I didn't get on well with my peers first, but little by little we've become really good friends. You may be a bit confused with the word peers, right? You shouldn't be. The word peer means a person who is the same age or has the same position as other people in the group. Actually, your classmates are your peers as you are in the same age and school group. So, as we've learned the useful phrases, now we're ready to move on to the next part of our lesson. In the previous videos, you have learned essential vocabulary related to the topic school subjects and also focused on modal verbs. As you remember, modal verbs are the verbs that help us show our attitude to the action. We can use modal verbs to show that something is necessary to do, to state that it is a good or a bad idea to do something, and so on. These modal verbs are will, can, could, may, might, should, and let. Let's practice! Your task is quite simple. You need to complete the dialogue using the modal verbs mentioned previously. Then we will check your answers. Teacher. David, what is your favorite subject at school? David. I find biology very interesting. That's because I enjoy all science subjects a lot and if I get one, get good enough marks in my final exams, I'll study medicine when I go to university. Also, I've got a really excellent biology teacher who makes the subject much more fun. Teacher. And you, Mary, how do you think you get to use English in the future? Mary. Well, I think English is an absolute necessity now and you just get three. Get by without it. It will help me to find a job. And if my work involves traveling, it'll really be essential. I'd like to work in business. I think I get for learn English for that too. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys. Gap five. You please help me with organizing this poster. All right. Let me once again remind you of the modal verbs you need to use. These are will, can, could, may, might, should and let. What do you think are the correct words to fill in the gaps? You have some time to think now. Well, now let's check. So, for gap 1, we need to use the modal verb can to express the ability to do something. In gap number 2, we can use either may or can as we talk about possibility. Gap 3 needs the negative form of can, which is can't. 
This is because we need to show absence of ability in this sentence. In the fourth gap, there is a modal verb should. We use it when we think that something is a good idea or when we give advice. And finally, the last gap is filled with the word could, as it is a polite request. It goes without saying that politeness is a good quality and in English you can express it by using not only please and thank you, but the modal verbs too. Well, now I've got a task for you. You have to use the structure of this dialogue and make up your own one. You can change the names of the people just as the names of the subjects. You can add some extra information and make the dialogue larger by adding more sentences to it. Oh, and of course, remember to use the modal verbs. When you're finished with your own dialogue, read it again and edit it. Check whether you have any language mistakes. Read the dialogue to yourself or you may ask a friend to do it together. This will help you practice your vocabulary and grammar. Success doesn't come fast, especially as learning the language. However, little by little, with practice and persistence, you'll become fluent in it. So, I'm wishing you good luck in learning English and hope to see you in our next video. Bye!